On this week's episode of Ask Ethan, we're going to be touching on should I be buying investment properties that are providing the most cash flow as possible? So a lot of people, when they are looking for investments, what they're looking for is just how much am I going to be able to cash flow off this property every month? Well, there's a lot more that goes into buying investment properties than just the cash flow at the end of the month. You can make a five, six hundred dollars off an investment property every single month, but if you're going to have to keep dumping money into that every single month, every single year, you have a lot of capital improvements that are going to be need to be done to that property. Those that cash flow goes away real quick. Where versus if you can find something that cash flows a hundred bucks a month, one hundred and fifty bucks a month, but you know you're going to be able to hold that property for 10, 15 years. The furnace is new, the roof's new, the air conditioner is new, the hot water heater is new, and you're going to have very minimal large um, item expenses, that may be a better way to go. So you want to look at the whole picture when you're looking at investment properties, not just at what that cash flow is. Also, you want to take into account appreciation. Um, so depending on your situation, if you're trying to do this where you're trying to make your living off of this, obviously you need cash flow coming in on that. If this is an investment or a secondary type of income for you or a true investment, Think about something that, okay, this can have great um, appreciation value down the road. So as long as it's paying for itself um, on the monthly basis or I'm making 100 bucks, 200 bucks a month off of this, but this property in 20, 30 years, it's going to be all paid off. It's, gonna, it has a great, it's in a great location where it's going to appreciate over those 30 years by a lot. Um, that could be a better investment than something that you're going to make $500 a month on up front. You're going to have to dump a lot of money into. It may be harder to rent. I um, mean, you might not have that appreciation. So take into account the whole picture when you are looking at investment properties, not just at what that cash flow is on the bottom line. So we hope that the answers to these investment questions have really helped you out. Um, obviously, there's a lot more detail we could go into um, that may be better over coffee or lunch. So definitely reach out to us. We'd love to sit down with you, see what um, you're, you're looking to do, um, how much money you have to invest, if you're looking to do this with yourself or a group of people, and really hone in on those specifics and figure out what the best investment property for you is.